guys. So today, I want to talk about why it's okay to be weird. And the reason I want to talk about this is when we're growing up, when we're in school, and all the kids want to be like popular, cool. And I'm here to tell you that all of that is complete and total bullcrap. And here's why. First of all, I was pretty weird as a kid. Not much has changed, but you guys are watching me. I had giant teeth that were like far apart like this for like two years because I lost my teeth way before they were supposed to come in. Uh, I also was excessively hairy. I had a unibrow. Kids used to call me Frida Kahlo as soon as they learned about who that was in art class in the fourth grade. And excessively hairy everywhere. Like in PE in sixth grade when you have to wear those little shorts. I was so embarrassed. Like I'm a dark haired girl. And there's no hiding all that like fur. You know, it's, it's, no, it's not cute to look like Sasquatch. Also, I was extremely embarrassed of the fact that I could sing. I wouldn't sing in front of anyone, and yet when I went home, all I did was sing. And now, my job is singing. I sing for everybody. I don't care. And that's something you learn as you get older, I think. I think you learn how to not care what people think. And that doesn't happen until after you get out of school. So if you're in school right now, and life is really hard, because you're trying to buy overpriced Abercrombie clothing to look exactly like the person sitting next to you in science class, trust me, it gets better. And yes, that Abercrombie shirt is overpriced. Also, when I was a kid, I took karate for a really long time. And uh, it was a little weird to tell people that I did karate. They would ask me, hey, what are you doing after school? And I'd be like, I'm gonna go beat some people up in karate. Looking back on it now, that's pretty awesome. Like a chick that can kick butt, and believe me, I did kick butt and probably still could. That's pretty awesome. I think it's really cool. But back in the day when I was like 12, people didn't seem to think that was so cool. They'd be like, are you like Mr. Miyagi? Do you like wow? Wax on and wax off. Hi y'all! As soon as you tell people that you do karate instantly, they want to do like that dragon thing. We don't actually do that, first of all. And uh, no, I'm not gonna fight you, retard, because I'm gonna win. So I want to share with you a few people that I think are probably pretty weird, and that's what makes them totally awesome. Like if these people weren't weird, people wouldn't like them. People like uh, Skrillex. If you saw that kid walking down your high school hallway, you probably would be like, this kid is weird. And you need to shower but he's awesome and he's making money doing stuff that he loves touring the world and what are his high school bullies gonna say about that matter of fact if you think about like a lot of DJs famous DJs all right they're like millionaire celebrities now and the reason they became DJs is because they were social outcasts and they were in their basement because all they could do was make music and that's awesome look at famous celebrities now, like Lady Gaga. If you would have seen her in school in her meat dress, what would you have said? If you were working in your cubicle and you look over and Lady Gaga's wearing like a bird hat, it's a little weird, right? But that's what makes her cool. That's what makes her so Googled and makes people so interested in her. It's because she's weird and strange and different and everything that comes into her mind, she does. That's why she has like 8.6 billion followers on Twitter. And that's awesome. Just like a lot of singers. They were probably weird in school, like unless you're Beyonce and you're perfect at everything, then you probably were a little weird if you're any kind of artist. Like if you're a painter, sculptor, or a dancer, whatever you are, actors, those people are weird. Think about all the biggest supermodels. They all had a thing, like Cindy Crawford had her mole, and Georgia Mae Jagger has that gaff in her teeth, and Cara Delevingne has bushy eyebrows, and they're all making millions of dollars and are globally recognized as being absolutely beautiful. First of all, let me just tell you, I hated school. I didn't like being around kids my own age. I was an only child. I was alone all the time when I was little and with adults and then when I was forced to be in rooms with children I didn't know what to do like I was so introverted and confused and I would say jokes that totally didn't make sense to other kids and they would just look at me like I was completely insane so it, it wasn't fun for me so eventually I ended up being homeschooled that was the best decision ever. Being homeschooled made me realize that you don't have to be cool, you don't have to wear a certain shirt, you don't have to do anything. You can make friends being yourself and being weird and being awesome because there are people out there that are weird just like you and that's why you're going to be friends because you have the same weirdness. I mean, think about it. If you're out of school now or in you're in the workplace or wherever you are, think about those cool kids that you went to school with. If they're anything like the cool kids I went to school with, they're working down the street at McDonald's selling french fries with five kids and 
with four baby daddies. And the kid that they thought was weird is rocking out on stages as their day job and making videos on YouTube. Think about it. All the doctors that are doctors now, what did they have to do in school? They had to miss out on parties. They had to study really hard. They had to get good grades to get into college, to get into medical school and study their entire life away so they could fix you. So they could make big bucks and so they could be called doctor or whatever. You don't see like those cheerleaders that were flinging their pom-poms and going to parties and skipping class. You don't see them being doctors. I, I don't know about you, but the cool girls that I went to school with that I was trying so hard to be liked by are now trying so hard to Facebook me. And I'm like, girl, you completely ignored me and thought I was completely weird in school. And now you wants to poke me on Facebook. I see you tripping. I can tell you that in the years post school, you're gonna see a lot of things looking back that you wish you would have seen when you were in school. For example, there was those girls that got picked on in school because they were a little thicker, they were a little chunky. It's just because they hadn't grown into their curves yet. Now they're hot smoking mamas, everyone wants to be with them, but they remember when they were the fat kid. And they ain't fat no more. Kids that got picked on in school for being too tall, specifically girls. Uh, tall girls are awesome. There are a few awesome jobs you could have that you can only have if you're really tall. Like a basketball player, supermodel, volleyball player, professional light bulb changer. It's cool to be tall and you should embrace being tall. Even if you're seven foot five and you're a chick, you should wear heels and own it like Taylor Swift. Also, if you're a guy and you're teased for being short, that's okay, because look at Bruno Mars. He's like four foot seven, and he is killing it with the chicks. Have you seen the girls in his music videos? Those girls are fine. A lot of people are pretty short for men, and that's okay, because later on, with your personality, you will win them over, and you will be awesome. If you get teased in school because you're not allowed to wear makeup, or you don't know how to wear makeup, newsflash, wah, wah, that was me. What do I do on YouTube now? Makeup. My mom told me I couldn't wear makeup to school and then later on, as I got older, I would put on crazy amounts of shimmery disco ball makeup on my face because I didn't know how to wear it. So I went from wearing no makeup and being embarrassed about that to wearing too much makeup and thinking I was cool. But in reality, looking back on the pictures, I looked way better without the makeup. The shiny disco ball misapplied heavy-handed makeup that I thought was so awesome was ridiculous. And anyone that was looking at me would have thought it was ridiculous. And I'm not saying that judgment stop outside of school. That's not what I'm saying. But what happens with age is you realize to not give a what because you're grown and it's your life. You can do whatever you want. If you want to sing on a stage at night, go ahead. If you want to be an artist, go ahead. If you want to act, get your butt out there and act because it's cool and you should do whatever makes you happy. If you want to be a doctor, be a doctor. Weird is awesome. Think about everything that makes all the people we love unique. It's probably a little weird and that's why we love them. I mean, my mom is crazy, my dad is crazy, my fiance is crazy, and that's why I love them. And they love me probably because I'm insane. To give you a little tidbit of the things that make me happy during the day, like uh, when I'm in the car and I'm driving, I like to sing really, really loudly to whatever is on the radio. And when I get to that stop sign and there's cars on either side of me, I don't stop singing. I'll be like singing at the top of my lungs and when they look at me, I just smile. Hi. I'm one of those grown-ups that still likes to play with the carts at the supermarket. I like to ride them in the parking lot. Uh, I like to sit in them when I'm tired and have my fiance push me, uh, which in turn gets a lot of weird looks, but I don't care because my feet hurt. So I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. I wear Hello Kitty everything. I will go out of my house in Hello Kitty onesies with the little ears on them. I think they're so cool. Uh, this hat, this hat is a little weird. I love this hat. This is my bad hair day hat. I wear it all the time. And you know what? No one ever comes up to me and says, your hat is weird. You know what I get instead? Hey, cool hat, where'd you get it? <laughs> awesome hat. Hey, I like your hat. I never get, oh my God, you're stupid. Stop wearing that ugly hat. I never get that. You know why? Because people that are thinking mean things will never say them to you because they know that they're mean and that they're wrong. And as you become an adult, hopefully you've gained that filter. And if you don't, you may be like someone I know. <laughs> Also, uh, I make up songs about things. When I'm frustrated, I talk in a baby voice like this all the time, and I can't stop, it's just like a natural thing that I do. <coughs> I 
burn everything. I can't cook at all. I'm literally the worst cook in the entire universe. I will burn water. But you know what? I own that. You know what? I try anyway. And that's what counts. Trying. I'm a terrible bowler. I cannot hit a strike to save my life. Every single ball I've ever bowled has been pretty close to a gutter ball. And I also throw my shoulder out every time I bowl. And that's probably pretty weird. I make people feel better about themselves because when you bowl against me, you know you're gonna win. And that's cool. Also, when I run, because my foot and my knee are just like a half of an inch misaligned, and you can never tell it from looking at me ever, but when you can tell is when I start to run, which is rare, but when I do run on occasion, my one leg like flicks out like Bambi, and I don't know why it's so exaggerated when I run versus when I do anything else and you can't notice it at all. When I run, it kind of just does like this little, like a run forest run. And I always got made fun of in school because you have to run in PE and people would be like, you look like Bambi, what's wrong with you? Now, uh, I still get made fun of by this man over here, my fiance, who thinks it's funny every time I run to make fun of my funny leg. And you know what? I think my funny leg is cool. Right? Like you got shot. It doesn't does look like I got shot. That's mean. I didn't get shot. I have a cool leg and that's it. Show your ears. Huh? Oh, also, the reason why this hat may look a little funny is, uh, hold on. I have enormous ears. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, probably you can, but they're, they're pretty large ears. I feel like we should start a hashtag. I feel like this hashtag should be hashtag weird is cool. I see now that the kids that weren't cool are the ones that are succeeding. It's the kids that studied really hard. Sometimes we also witness the reverse effect or someone who used to be awesome and weird and is now trying too hard to be cool and people who think they're cool at all. <clears throat> Talking to you, Justin Bieber. I guess what I'm getting at here is I was really just thinking about how funny it was in school and how awful I felt and how strange and weird I felt and how self-conscious I was about everything. And uh, now seeing kids now and what they're going through, I just want to walk up to them and shake them and be like, don't worry, it gets better. You're going to look back on this and laugh. I'll tell you right now, I didn't go to one party in high school. You know why? It wasn't something I wanted to do and people thought I was uncool. But you know what? I was at home singing, look at me now. If you want to wear your leopard print horned hat and neon green crop top in a video, then by dang it, you do that. Think about all the people on YouTube with all these subscribers. They're weird. And in the wise words of Casey Musgraves, I'm singing a piece of Follow Your Arrow. <clears throat> if you save yourself for marriage, you're a bore. If you don't save yourself for marriage, you're a horrible person. If you don't have a drink, then you're a poo. But they'll call you a drunk as soon as you down the first one. If you can't lose the weight, then you're just fat. But if you lose too much, then you're on crack. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. So you might as well just do whatever you want. So make lots of noise, kiss lots of boys, or kiss lots of girls. If that's something you're into in the straight and narrow. Or don't. And follow your arrow wherever it points. Just follow your arrow wherever it points. Stay aware! What? Oh. I'm here to tell you all that is. Maybe I shouldn't say the brand name. No. It's perfect. It's fine. Looking back on it, cool. No. Yeah. What am I talking about? Which is. They're gonna hate you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't say that. Didn't I just say that? Why else am I weird? He's like a reverse Michael Jackson. Yeah. I'm so sweaty. Right I'm almost the only way, then you're just fat or something like that. Anyway, it's a good song. You should download it.